Hey guys, I want to shoot a video on simple math. I've mentioned simple math. Oh, by the way, I'm Gary Dean, Tampa, Florida, detailjuice.com. That is me, that is what I do. Um, simple math. Uh, well, it's exactly how it sounds, simple math. The problem with a lot of you guys who are just coming into the detailing business, you don't do simple math. You look at a price on a product, and I'm not specifically talking about my products, but I do have that issue a lot because my products are all concentrates and you see a higher price tag, but you don't look at the dilution ratios. Uh, you don't, you know, you haven't used them to see uh, that they're better than most of the stuff on the market. Um, and that's, you know, that's my opinion. I can have that if I'd like. But at the same time, um, it's about that cost to profit ratio and you know, that should be about 10% of the total value of the detail. So for example, if you're charging $100, 10% of that, which would be $10, should be the total cost that you're spending on the job. And that's everything. That's the fuel and wear and tear to get there. Uh, it's the fuel uh, for your uh, generator and whatever else you're using. And that's your product cost. Uh, it should be around 10%. And so Simple math says that you would take the total amount that you spend on a product, so if it's $100, and then it's 128 ounces, you would divide that 128 ounces by $100, uh, and then you would get the total per ounce of the product that you're using. Then you would go even further and figure out how much you're gonna use of that product at that dollar amount per ounce and you should multiply that and that'll give you the whole number that you need uh, to add up the products that you're going to use for the job then you take that job I mean eventually you'll be able to figure all this stuff out in your head but I'm talking about simple math it will do you a world of good and you know I would as long as you're inside that 10 10%, uh, now, yes, you can be more profitable if you're saving 22, 23, 24, 25 cents, a dollar per detail, for sure. Uh, but I think that that's less important than quality products and you know a brand that you can trust with someone that you can access all the time. For example, detailjuice.com and Gary. So, um, my point here is if you just do simple math and break down what your cost is on a product, the dilution ratio of the product per use for the use that you're gonna use it for and come up with a number that it's gonna cost you to do a certain job and then in your head, you'll start to be able to do that on every job before you quote the customer. But as long as you're keeping your pricing at 10% of the total profit or the total cost of the job and your profit is 90% of that number, you're golden. Like as long as you do that, you're totally fine. Um, I mean that that's the bottom line. If you're if you're doing simple math, it's not complicated people. We're talking about add, subtract, multiply, divide four things that are very very simple to do you learn this in grade school um, but the crazy part about it is all you people that are going into business um, you don't realize that there's more to detailing than doing the job has very little to do with actually detailing you're having a struggle taking your passion as a hobbyist and pleasing yourself on every job to and taking way too long to being a businessman and pleasing the customer every time and making profit you're confusing that you don't you don't realize how to do it and that you know in future videos and as we progress with this truth and uh, untold truth in the detailing business situation um, you'll start to understand more and more but Simple math will do a world of good for you. It will change your life if you break down what things cost. 
I would not be so concerned about every single little penny. I would be far more concerned if it breaks out of that 10% area. If you keep it in 10%, matter of fact, you could base your pricing on a certain number and then add a dollar to it or whatever it's going to be to compensate for the cost. There are ways to do it without the price getting so in inflated that it changes a lot. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find a customer that would, would, would flinch at $50 more than they would $45. That's not a huge deal, but at the same time, if you charge that extra $5, you're compensating for a lot when it comes to product cost. So just keep simple math in mind. Do that add, subtract, multiply, and divide on every product that you buy. Make sure you're in, inside that 10% of cost to profit ratio, and you should be golden. Um, you know, again, most people who go into the detailing industry are going to fail. You're going to sit behind your computer all day. You're going to think you know everything. But when you get into the real world and you're trying to, you know, really make money at it, when you're trying to provide for your family, your world is going to come tumbling down because there's so much more to it than just doing the job. It's crazy. So if you stick with me, if you ask me questions, I will help you. And, you know, again, I'm always here if you need me. 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. And, you know, I, I can't help you if you don't reach out. I want to help you be successful in detailing. You know, part of what I've done I have done for years is help new people get into detailing and be successful. Uh, I've got tons of people uh, I, under my belt, if you will, uh, that I'm, you know, I'm still coaching and mentoring today. It's, you know, I, I feel like, you know, my, 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 my passion uh, is helping people succeed in detailing. I've already done it. I'm already, I, I already have a reputation. I'm already successful at it. I've moved on from just doing the detailing. I've got the product line. I've got a couple other businesses uh, that are not detailing related. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing. You know, I'm a businessman first. I'm a salesperson. I'm a manager. I'm a, uh, an advertising executive. I'm a, I'm a marketer. I mean, I, you know, you got to wear all those hats or you won't be successful. So you take yourself out of that hobbyist mindset, put yourself in a businessman mindset. You can still feel fulfilled as a businessman doing the detailing, but it's not about you. It's about the customer. As long as you remember that, you'll be successful. If you do not run with that, you're not going to be successful. Um, well, that's not necessarily true. You might make yourself happy, but you're not going to make any money. And in business, that's what it's about. It's about making money. You want money to eat. You want money to live. You want money for your family. You want money to buy cool shit. And that's the bottom line. So if you got any questions for me, give me a call. 813-846-4406. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Like it if you like it. If you don't, that's all right. I'm still going to do what I do and uh, still going to keep on trucking. So um, simple math. It's important. Do it. Love it. Learn it. Don't forget about it. Thanks again. Have a great day.